All right, so about a solid seven delays later, and the Halloween update for Blade Ball is finally here. I'm excited. We've been playing it for hours in the test server, but now it is finally here and your boy can spend some robux because i was not going to do that in the test server so let's give you guys kind of uh the quick breakdown on what's going on here and we're also going to be taking a look at the brand new ability well i should be a little more specific because there is three brand new ones but we're going to be taking a look at the phantom ability which is probably going to cost me a boatload of robux to be able to get my hands on if you have absolutely no idea what i'm talking about they have gone ahead and added a halloween battle pass it's a really interesting battle pass or season pass whatever it is that you want to call it but this is the thing that a lot of people are kind of complaining about especially over in the test server so if you notice one of our greatest friends in the game is back and that is infinity this is sort of like a free to play kind of way for you to be able to get infinity even though technically speaking it's not free to play but it sort of is but it sort of isn't anyways so the battle pass is going to cost us 800 robux right off the start so let's go ahead and grab that so we can get started on unlocking a lot of these things so instantly we were pushed all the way to tier 10 in the battle pass just by buying it now i wonder if i claim this does it automatically open it no it doesn't okay so i guess it's claim all that we have available at the current moment and if we switch over to the halloween spin i automatically have five spins now if we look at the odds they're kind of insane right now uh infinity is a five percent which personally i don't care because i already own infinity but i need to go ahead and also get this 19 percent sword as well as this other 42 percent sword in order to unlock the phantom ability so let's see man hopefully i get extremely lucky with these five and i don't have to spend any more robux but i have a bad feeling that it's not gonna go in my favor so uh yeah we're just opening 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 and absolutely nothing was obtained there and i'm gonna be honest i didn't even see this thing move to these sides so i don't even understand how this works it kind of just spun down here that was extremely confusing i have no idea what just happened okay well i guess we'll move on to the next thing which would be the explosive crates technically we should have a bunch of these spins but it's still charging me 150 pumpkins if i click it does it take the pumpkins it doesn't oh it says it right here i'm actually blind so i still have three free spins we got ourselves poison bomb which let me open up the odds here that's a 10.5 percent not bad for our second one we're gonna go ahead and get the portal to hell 23 percent third one is going to be evil spike pit okay so we're actually getting different ones every single time i shouldn't have said that i should have waited because now it's gonna end up being a repeat watch yep it's a repeat of course so yeah we ended up getting i believe a total of four of them there so let's go ahead and put one of those on by the way if you notice explosion swords as well as abilities has kind of changed now so the top ones will be the ones that you own and then the bottom ones will be the ones that you have not unlocked yet this this is a really good addition and i like this also let me grab this and max them out before i forget there we go we have those maxed out and we're gonna put on probably poison bomb but now the thing is i need to keep doing more of these halloween spins the only way i can do that is by getting more pumpkins and the only way i can get more pumpkins at least instantly is by literally skipping all for three thousand robux but do i want to do that so obviously if you don't want to spend robux there is other ways which you can utilize the brand new team system so you and three other people can go ahead and queue up for games this will increase the rewards of pumpkins that you get based off of how many times you win as well as even just participating in a match now what's kind of interesting is these quests if you complete them it increases the multiplier which means that you can potentially earn even more pumpkins just by playing with your friends and then finally the only other thing that we haven't seen is the new witch shop this one is kind of interesting because currently you're probably going to see this and be like uh, it's kind of lame what's in here but if you look up here and click on this little eye it shows you all of the things that can potentially pop up inside of the witch shop this sword as well as the dance being some of the rarest things but man i'm actually considering skipping all and i think we're gonna actually do it let's pretend that this did not happen i did not just skip every single one and get all the way to tier 40 this is a dumb idea do not ever do this but i really wanted to show you guys this because if you look haunted harvester 
completionist one out of five i'm gonna hit claim and then this is going to turn into let's see uh uh nothing you want to know why because i need to complete the entire battle pass five times to be able to get this sword yeah jokes on me actually i already knew that but still like jokes on me or to maybe like every other poor innocent soul that maybe spent their only three thousand robux thinking that they were going to get that cool looking sword but although we did not get it which oddly enough is that it i think that's it morbid mire blade once wielded by a legendary horse this blade carries the essence of the haunted mire that looks so sick oh my god but how did i get it is it from the battle pass it is that sword wait question mark i'm confused now why did i get it if i'm supposed to complete it five times anyways the other one that you get from the battle pass is actually the pumpkin vine crusher this one also very very cool and it's actually the only one that you can get from not buying the battle pass so this one's completely free um also this should be turned around and the face should be out here because it facing inwards is really weird but now we can go ahead and do some spins on top of that we also have a bunch of pumpkins that we can buy more spins so let's see because right now i am getting absolutely no results i don't even understand how this works i spun petty clap how how do i change these like how do i get these on the side that's what i'm confused on and wait before it told me that i was able to buy it with pumpkins but now it's charging me 99 robux to get a spin none of this makes sense a part of me feels like i just need to keep spinning until something happens but i'm not sure i don't know what's going on it's going so fast but we got the walk over here this dance so we got nothing there awesome we got the dance and that's pretty much it all right so just to show you guys really quickly skeleton dance that's what it looks like right there uh pretty interesting one <laughs> and then we have the ghost walk which uh this one is definitely super cool the moon walking and then you kind of like go up and down on different levels that one's kind of sick i guess i kind of have to spin again this is this is really expensive dude like nobody should do this at all this is just insanely dumb there's just no chance that i'm even gonna be able to get those at least not doing this okay so uh yeah second time around we still got absolutely nothing so let's see do i have to pay to restart you do you have to pay ten thousand coins to restart that's crazy i mean that's really not all that bad nah you know what's crazy when you restart the battle pass you have to get the battle pass again nah that is not it bro that is not it there's different rewards here but like why would you do that all right well i'm gonna keep trying to get this uh this phantom here bro we spun infinity on that one we literally spun the rarest one that i didn't want <laughs> how did i get infinity no man that's so dumb bro i got ghost walk again okay i got the ember blade i got the ember blade all i'm missing now is the witch one bro oh my god all right so here's the inferno ember blade this one's actually really sick too arguably it's uh actually better looking all right so i have to jump into a game man because I i'm easily like eleven thousand robux deep and i'm still missing the witch sword so oh i kind of wanted to show you guys but this is one of the brand new halloween maps so i, I guess it's kind of good that i got killed because now i can show you the top view of it but yeah i gotta complete some of these quests man because right now this is getting expensive to get that final sword so from what i'm being told by everyone inside of the lobby that i'm in right now is that they're able to buy spins with their pumpkins but i'm not able to for some reason i don't know if because there's only a limit that you can buy per day or what that is but i don't recall ever buying any spins whatsoever with pumpkins as a matter of fact i've only been buying them with literally my robux so i i don't understand what's going on either way man uh here we are in the, one of the brand new maps there's actually two of them personally i like the other one a little bit more hopefully we get it i haven't seen it yet i'm really still just trying to get some spins man i want to get this final witch sword so i can get phantom and show it to you guys in this video also it kind of unfortunately looks like the lagging ball situation has sort of became even a little bit worse i didn't think it was possible but yeah 
now it's not really like a lag. Now it's just kind of like it stutters. It's a little weird. All right, so let's take a look at this uh, new blink ability in the meantime while we're doing some games here. So uh, this kind of works from my understanding the literal exact same way as Thunder Dash. So I don't exactly know what the purpose of this is. Uh, the only thing is, is that there's a total of three of them. So you kind of can let them go ahead and stack up to three and then you'll be able to do it one after the other. So like, kind of like that. So I guess in that case, it's pretty cool. But I definitely don't think this is one that a lot of people are going to be dying to get their hands on or anything like that. All right, so this is actually the second brand new map. This is my favorite one, to be honest. I think it looks really, really cool. And we also have uh, one of the other abilities on, which is the four jumps actually the second passive ability to be added into the game it's uh, pretty cool i mean i don't exactly know how i would personally use it but it's definitely good for i guess kind of escaping i don't even know dude i still don't even like super jump so this one is definitely not going to be one that i use nothing against any of you that use super jump it's good i mean to a certain extent it kind of feels like infinite super jump right now hold on i kind of like this this is the most ridiculous thing ever dude this ability is so dumb <laughs> <laughs> all right well i mean we gotta win with it so i guess that's cool but the one i really want is phantom we need to get this so one of the question here is gift the game pass for 1000 xp technically speaking instant spin is a game pass and it's only 100 robux if i wanted to could just buy it for someone in the server and he said yo thank you so much so that's cool but now did we complete that we did let's go that actually put us really really far in all the way back to 11 and we got ourselves two spins oh man please i'm begging you right now four spins wait hold on a minute please please i am begging you right now please please give me the witch sword please oh my god we're doing 10 please i got the witch's curse let's go it only cost me like fourteen thousand robux so we officially now own everything so technically i should have still don't have it i actually still don't have it i don't understand it says it becomes unlockable but i i, I don't have it and i just rejoined Still don't have it also in case anyone is curious uh there is the witch's blade it is very weird because it's in the same place as the prince blade which i absolutely hate so i will not be using this one all right so it turns out that we spent all that time chasing and spending so much money when in reality phantom is broken right now you literally cannot obtain it just to point out this is not just me actually the entire discord chat is going off right now because people are upset that they're spending tens of thousands of robux and not getting the phantom ability i'll be honest man i'm just as upset i have everything collected for some reason it's not even showing that i have this collected which is the emote even though it's literally right here i got it when i come into the spins and i look at the odds everything has been obtained but i cannot unfortunately grab the ability so it looks like as of right now um phantom is broken and i cannot show it to you guys now one thing that i will say is that there is a brand new code if you type in halloween this is going to go ahead and give you a custom skin, which obviously will not be obtainable after probably like the next two weeks. But you're going to get your hands on the pumpkin pie blade. The pumpkin pie is infecting us all. What an interesting sword. By far one of the ugliest ones. But there you go. You got yourself a nice little pumpkin pie sword. Bowtie blade as well as the party popper were turned into uniques. But yeah, I guess out of all of that that I spent... Um, the only real cool thing that I got was this sword because I didn't get Phantom. And to be honest, the other two abilities are kind of mid. I mean, I guess Blink is kind of cool, but this four jump thing, definitely just a filler ability. I can see how this update is going to be really entertaining for free to play. Uh, it's going to have like a lot of things that you guys can chase after and kind of grind towards. But at the same time, it's also like a really pay to win update in a way, but not really. I don't know. I, I like to leave it up to you guys to tell me what you 
you think let me know in the comments do you think this is a good update or do you feel like it's just another pay to win one which just to be clear there is nothing actually to win here i mean maybe if you get infinity but it's also really likely that you'll probably get that for free as well so i guess the only real enjoyment that all of you got out of this video was just watching me suffer spend 11,000 robux and then get absolutely nothing so maybe this was kind of entertaining now obviously the title for this video was going to be new phantom ability and whatever it was whether it be good or bad but i guess the new title is going to be phantom ability is broke and by no means do i mean that in a good way and i guess we'll do a follow-up video just showing you guys actually phantom whenever uh, this ends up getting fixed i'll probably end up staying up the rest of the night and seeing if it gets uh hopefully fixed so that that way i can show you guys in the meantime i'm gonna end the video off right here Hopefully you guys enjoyed it, even though there wasn't really much going on. I will see you guys very, very soon in the next video. But like always, take care.